Hey everybody, wanted to show you guys something I've built here. This is a hobby power supply, basically. It's been made out of a Dell power supply from one of their big server racks. And all of this information that I'm about to show you guys, I found all of this stuff on rcgroups.com. It's, it's a fantastic forum to get information off of for this. And all I've done is taken what's on there, put it into my own particular setup, and made a video about it. And I'll make sure and post a link in my video to send you guys directly there. But this is just how I did it personally. There's an infinite number of ways you can build this thing. I've got it running off just um, your average uh, you know, one 120 volt uh, outlet AC out from the wall. And I made my own little plug here in the back. And here's my switches. This is just an on off switch I've got that basically turns it the whole thing on or off. Now you, you can probably hear the fan back here. That's perfectly fine. This whole unit from factory, and this is the way I left it. I, I kept a lot of these fail safes intact. If it does not see a signal from these fans, Back here, right here, if it does not see a signal from those, the whole unit will not run, which I thought was a fantastic failsafe, so I just left it alone. Anyway, here's the on-off switch. You can see it kick on. This right here is something I bought just because I thought it was neat and I thought it would be neat to have this in here. This is a voltage and amperage uh, LED display and it just toggles in between volts and amps uh, that I have hooked up going out of here and I've, I've just run them all together here into one into one outlet but you know you can run these individually but we'll get into that in a minute but it's at 12 and a half and over here I've got a couple trim pots this middle one here is for voltage and this one is for fan speed this one right here and again you can do this a variety of different ways. All I did was put a uh, 1K pot in there, and as I turn this, you can see my output voltage is increasing, and I've got this capped at about 13.8, right there. What just happened was that is a uh, mechanical shutoff. It, it's, it's a cap, so as soon as it sees that voltage, it, it cuts it off again. Uh, you guys can modify this later to do whatever you want. You can even turn the whole thing off and run as many volts as it will possibly make. Don't recommend that, but to each their own. So I'm going to turn this thing back down here, cycle the power supply, and boom, comes right back on. And we're at 13, let's just set this at like, whatever, 13.1 there. And then over here, I've got this. This is my fan speed. Up and down. There's a slight delay there, but it's fine. And then... Uh, each one of these is these white wires here and these black wires uh, are individual I believe it's 28 amps uh, channels so you add all five of them together and you get about 130 amps uh, you know give, give or take but uh, what I did was I just ran them all together on both sides into one out and one ground this is a shunt to be able to read the amperage here. Now there's no, there's no, uh, currently there is no load on this. There's, there's no amperage draw. So it's, it's at zero. Um, and then, you know, there's, you can just toggle back and forth in between volts and, and amps. But that's what I've built. That's just how I did it particularly. These little guys here are, and you can see, uh, you can actually jumper a couple of those and get the fans to come on high all the time. But um, these are uh, th basically the control pins over here. You can see, hopefully, there we go, that they're smaller. And then over here are the actual you know, power pins. But these guys over here are the ones you're going to hook up to to switch the unit on and off, to uh, have a voltage uh, control, fan control, anything you want to do are on these smaller pins over here on the left. So that's basically it. That's how I've built it. Uh, another cool thing, when, whenever this is on, you can see these LEDs here in the back come on. And just let you know power's on and it is plugged in. If I turn this off, they turn off. But again, that one fan is still on back here. 
just a default setting, which I, I kept all stock. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> um, start going through pinouts and breaking this thing apart and showing you guys how I, I built this.